Wireshark is really going to be one of your best friends when it comes to looking at the radio traffic from your wireless network. It's really just a great networking utility. It's a network analyzer, so we're using it to do packet captures. And with the packet captures, of course, anytime you're doing any network analysis, you really want to see the details of what's going over the wire or in the case of wireless networks, what's going over the air. Now, I can just do a regular capture using my network analyzer Wireshark here. And this is just going to be exactly what you would see if you were to plug into a wired network and do a packet capture. I'm going to see all of the network traffic that's going back and forth. Now, this is not all of the traffic that you would see from a wireless standpoint. There is a lot of additional information that gets passed over the air. And so what I want to do here is I'm going to go to interfaces. And I want to actually go to options on my wireless interface. So I've got my interface here. If I double click it or I could manage interfaces. There are a lot of different ways of getting to this particular location. But what I did here was I brought up my wireless interfaces. Now again, I double click this here. What I get is capture packets in monitor mode. And you'll see immediately the link layer header type changes to 802.11 plus radio tap header. And of course, I could just do 802.11, 802.11 plus AVS radio information header. I'm just going to do the radio tap header here. Now I can go to start. And now I'm going to not save the other one. I'm getting all of the 802.11 frames. And you can see there's an awful lot of them. There's a lot of wireless networking in my particular area here. And now here I can pop open the frames below and I can see all of the radio information or the 802.11 information that is being passed over the network. So I've got my channel frequency, I've got a data rate here. This happens to be a beacon frame, which I can see in my details below. Now this pane here is where Wireshark really shines when it comes to network analysis. I could of course just be looking at the bits and bytes which is at the very bottom part of my Wireshark window here and I could try to figure out what all of it means myself, which I could do of course by looking at all of the documentation. However, Wireshark is really good about pulling that information into a human readable form. So it's not just the hexadecimal values down here, which are representative of the bits and bytes that are streaming over the air. What I get instead is a breakdown. So here, for example, is the timestamp. And if I select that, it highlights down below the bytes that are involved in that particular timestamp. I get tag parameters, so I've got the SSID. Again, if I select that, and you can see down at the bottom, it actually says, because this is in text rather than a binary value, it actually shows me what the SSID is below. Now I've got the supported rate information, and I've got a lot of other details, again, that Wireshark really does a good job of pulling out for us. And it also does a certain amount of analysis for us with data that isn't necessarily in the packet. So with some of the data that's being shown here, it may actually do some inferring from other information that's been seen. This is less true on the radio information that we are looking at than it is on some of the higher layer protocols. But it does extract information, it presents it in a way, so rather than what we've got here, 0050F202, it actually tells me that this is an off-key management suite using a pre-shared key, and the 0050F2 is actually a vendor ID that relates to Microsoft. So it actually translates this for me rather than me having to look up the OUI that is being presented here.
So Wireshark is a great utility for a lot of different purposes. And if you've got a wireless interface, you can actually go to capture interface. And then if I bring up options there, and then I double click, I wanna make sure that I'm capturing packets in monitor mode in order to get the radio information. Otherwise, I'm just getting the ethernet link layer and I'm not getting any of the wireless or radio information that's also being transmitted over the air.